just uh, stayed at Slip Flat Hut last night. Now we're going for a morning hunt. Skinny leading the charge. Nice misty morning. The sun will come through later though. It should be quite a clear, nice day. Hopefully the weather holds in the week, but who knows. It's probably spoke too soon, but we'll see. Might even be a bit of snow later in the week, but yeah. What's it called? Greenstone Hut. So we dropped all our weight, food, sleeping bag, all that stuff at the hut. And we're pretty much just traveling light. A few snacks, a few warm gears. You know, just so we can cover distance a bit quicker, I guess. Heading back to the hut now. It's about three o'clock, I think. So yeah, it's our first day hunting. Uh, got in late last night. And now we're just kind of walking back to the hut. I'm trying to keep it kind of quiet because obviously I don't want to spook the animals. But so far, just cows and uh, birds. Beautiful morning. Don't want to get my other camera wet. Um, which is unfortunate, but this will do. It's weatherproof completely. Rain's coming. Still coming. I'm just gonna head down there a little bit and then our actual hut's way over there. Not too bad though, I guess. Could be worse, could be windy, but it's not too cold, it's just wet. On the water. I'm looking down the valley. Um, yeah, if they turn up, I'd be very fucking happy to see a fucking fire going on. Sure. We just gonna use that fucking charcoal, eh? Like. Yeah.
Into the rain we go. Off we go. Perfect. Oh, pretty sure you got it. Sir? Pretty sure you got it. Oh, Fucking wriggled. Okay. It wriggled around. Was it? Yep. Holy fuck. How was it? Quick before it runs off, eh? Oh, well, they found it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fuck. Three days. <laughs> Three days. Three days in the open to find them in the bloody bush. Cut yep. his pelvis off. Oh, fuck, look straight in there. It's a bit of a sharp knife, this one. Fuck, that's a good knife. Yeah, but so that's all you do, just open the groin up. Yeah, mate. Right, it's almost easier than doing a chicken. Ooh, a lot of blood there, eh? Yeah, a few vessels in there, mate. Where? Yeah. A few vessels in there. See, so there's the hip bone. Yep. Hip. So. Easy to get through? Pop around it. You just pop around it. It's like a lamb shank, eh? <coughs> but bigger. Um, I'll show you where the shank is. Oh, that's some good venison, eh? I popped his gut sack a little bit. Is that why that came out? Yeah. And then you threw the ball joint now? Yeah. And then straight through the rest of it? And then the rest of it just cuts down to the hip, to the back of the pelvis. Yeah. And then... Fuck, this is massive, man. Straight through there, mate. Oh, fuck. Good job. One leg. One leg. It's a glory for YouTube, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Might not go on. Holy shit, that came off real easy. Did you go through any bone there? No, nah, there's no bone. What? There's no bone holding the shoulder blade. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Like shit that's in the way. Yeah. And you basically take it all the way down to the, uh, his, like, spine. Oh, look, right. you're still twitching. 
Yeah, so the, the skin will twitch for fucking up to half an hour. Oh shit, alright. It's just nerves, mate. Yeah. There's no way he's still alive, mate. No, fuck no. So yeah, so like, this flap comes off. Yeah. So you don't, you don't want to keep the flap. Oh yeah, see those ribs. Coming to the back strap now, eh? Yeah. You see, it's all well and good learning about this in the fucking classroom, but you don't know what it looks like. No, shit no. Like, you, know, you see pictures of it all the time, but you never fucking actually see it. So the easy way to do this is you just follow the ribs. Yeah. So. Work about there. Straight down. Straight in. And then just. And you can see all the, the ribs, the, the tendons, eh? Follow your rib. The rib goes quite flat along the back. Fuck, that's good quality meat. Holy shit. Following the ribs. Yeah. And then hopefully we'll still right down here. Are you trying to keep keep the guts inside, eh? Yeah. I'm gonna fucking stink. Yeah, we don't want those. So that's your back strap? Yeah, but I'm not going any further than there because we've compromised it. Oh, because of the bullet? Yeah. So. See how we're following each rib still yeah. coming up? So that's your T-bone stakes. Yeah. So. And straight through that shoulder blade. Nothing. It's so weird how it's not attached or anything. Not attached, mate. Just all muscle. Yep. There's his lungs. Oh, there you go. Oh, well, almost done. Another back strap right there. Oh, look at that. Looking perfect. We've already got the backstrap off the other side, just getting this last one, eh? Yep. Look at that, that's fucking good meat, hey? You know this is the first time I've fucking seen meat, like, from the fucking bush? Really? Yeah. yeah. I cook with it all the time, but I've never seen it. Never seen the start process? No. So there's like a hip bone there. Yeah. So the back of the hip bone. Yeah. Is the start of your, uh... Yeah. You just gotta be a wee bit careful. Yeah. Because there's a uh, the like back of the gut cavity and everything's there. Yeah, you don't want to get sometimes too close. You, you can, can see it coming through the other side. Yeah, sometimes you can cut through to it. Yeah, and then all that shit comes out. Yeah, we don't really want that. It's just smelly, eh? Well, if you get it on the meat, you've got to sort of oh, yeah. clean it off or discard it. Stomach acid and shit. Fuck, that's a good sized bloody strip trap, mate. This one is, mate. Oh, Jesus. Twice the size of the other one. Ah, here we are again, back in the rain. Just got the buck. Now we're walking back. Absolutely drenched. Yeah, it's cold, man. Not gonna lie. Fucking cold. Uh, yeah, bit of a way to go, but we've got the buck, so he's happy. Down like 10 centimeters. Oh, that's good. So, there you go, waking up to snow. Wow, look at that. The old time lapse going. And we're just heading out for a little morning hunt. Around the back of the tree line here, see what's around. And whatever we get today, yeah, we'll just be walking out tomorrow. So hopefully, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. It's just been the most amazing trip. Just incredible. Completely different from hiking. You know, you get to stay in one spot, stay in one hut for a bit, and then just enjoy everything it has to offer. Incredible.
Left, left, left. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we just got to cross the forts tomorrow and get out of here. So yeah, thanks for joining us on this one. And um, it's been quite an adventure, eh? Uh, a lot, probably one of the biggest ones this year, besides Antarctica, obviously. But for actually getting out in the backcountry and, and experiencing something different, this is, yeah, real bloody <laughs> hunting adventure. So hope this gives you some more insight into like what you can expect if you want to go hunting in the winter or even hiking out here, Greenstone Cables around this area. We didn't really go too far into the Caples, but Greenstone, we did the first, you know, bit of the Greenstone. Um, so yeah, it's quite a good hike. Um, never done it in the summer, so I wouldn't know, but yeah, it seems good for the, the winter and uh, you'll meet some great people and heaps of firewood here and everyone looks after the place, so great little place to come. So yeah, thanks for watching this one and uh, I guess we'll see you on the next one.